how much will change because we are traveling incognito. Your Lord, forgive me for not welcoming you with the appropriate obscience. We were told you would prefer to arrive on footfall incognito, and so we are trying to attract as little attention as possible. I'm here on the behalf of the leader of footfall, Lord Vladimir Tokora. The leader awaits you to speak, awaits the chance to speak with you at his residence. If you happen to have another business to attend to, I can serve as your guide and tell you about the station. Nice. As his lips curl slightly, this is so familiar. Behind the amber-coloured scattering of words are welcome, far less appealing hues lurk, murky and diluted. The look of someone accustomed to lying and hiding their intentions. Well, those are all bandits. Dira jerks her head, shakes it, and hisses through her teeth. Someone is coming! They're coming for us! Watch out, Lord Captain! Gave a lot sighs and casually places his hand on his weapon. And Edward addresses Sidira. Who's coming? Judging by the voices, there's a lot of them. Angry, they've got teeth, but they aren't sharp. The strength is their numbers. Ah, reminds me kind of like more religious Omega from Mass Effect. That's Neon. Hmm. Still got to play Mass Effect. Maybe we'll do that after Rogue Trader. Pray. Oh, what are you talking about? What could you mean by such a cryptic pronoun? She doesn't get to say the rest. Oh god. Goodbye. Hey, newcomers! Oh. How's this for a warm welcome? So I'm incognito and you're still attacking me? Wow. Your arrogance will be your downfall. You okay. will fall. Want a warm welcome? You'll get it. Yeah. Uh, I should level up Idira, which I can't do during battle. Makes sense. So, Genta, but here. And Cassia will take care of those, which is also quite early in the initiative. Pascal, Avalard. Uh, and Heinrich is not with us. Sadness. It's Cassia. I'll see to it personally. We have the best angle from here, actually. Me? If you insist, Lord. <laughs> you will go hand in hand. Nice. A little bit of collateral damage. Happen. Uh, and now we can define zones because we're a grand strategist. Maximum of 4 times 4 sales on the battlefield, frontline. Minus to armor and more damage. Ah, enemies there suffer more damage. Make it Especially nice. It's free to cast them. Backline, cover efficiency, and dodge. That's here. So we have those two in there. And rear. Range damage and over penetration critical hit chance. So I'll enter. I refuse. Ah, can't overlap. Oh well. Okay. Let's cast the last done. Immediately shut down. Go thirty-five percent. I've suffered worse. Okay. 
Okay, I think we will just do the little stair once again. Just wondering how I get the most inside. This or this? Let's go with Be this. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Witness the fury of nice. House or Celio. Oh, Pentakill. That's actually an achievement for that. Neat. Uh, okay, Cassia, now you're standing um, I'm not, not very nice position. To being ordered around. Press the advantage. The Master Tactician empowers their next attack to deal 4% additional damage for every stack of tactical advantage. Ooh, we have 25. That's quite a lot. Should have used that before. Oh well. I am a navigator, not a servitor. As the Emperor oh. commands, I am. Ah! Nice. And once more. Go. Go. And now we're hiding Emperor, again. Emperor, give me strength. Nice. Rush into the middle of the battlefield, do some warpy stuff, and leave. Um, yeah, here we go. Summon a demon, Idira, please. Let's give Amelia some uh, exploits. We can't share them. On Let's it. go with this. More enemies. Oh, that's not good. Okay, just dodging all the way. Doubt is for the weak. Right. Let's go for fire mastery. Maybe let's mark prey first. Uh, the Roman numeral enemy icon. Okay, the small ones just give us more. Um, just give us more temporary hit points. Are you? Oh, it's level two. Oh well. As uh, the emperor commands, I, I take act. it. Faith oh. without oh. all can escape uh. the emperor's judgment. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. And maybe you're marked too. Once again. Eradicated. So many wounds we have now. Nice. And here we go. I'll do it. This oh. is why I was chosen. Time momentum. Hmm. Let's do it once again. I think I will use it with um, either Abelard or Edward. They have more enemies. Running by Eric Override. This is great opening. Here's some more damage. Advancing. Now we use so many things, I can't attack. Well, happens. Victory is imminent. Yeah, come on. Ah, so close. Let's advance to the next enemy. Reduce to dust. Um. Thinking about maybe just ah come on Cassia. I'll make it happen. Step aside. The navigator is coming. Go. Face the navigator's might. Ah, almost as good as a fireball. The feeling. Who if not me? Let's try to shoot her. Come on, Edward. 30% hit chance. I do it. Nope. Edward doesn't hit. Here. Me. Here we go. 
That's so cool. Ah, oh, there's one more left. Let's change that. If I may. Doubt is for the weak. And As the emperor commands. Oh, oh. Nice. Hmm. Shivering young servants looks up at you with horror in his eyes. A Emperor, pr protect me. They killed. Killed. Every time I warn them, and then they all go, Dear Emperor, our Lord and Savior, how could this have happened? Who could have thought? Adira spits on the ground in annoyance. I mean, true. On the other hand, it never seems to be enough time to actually prevent something. Do not, young man. We took care of the attackers. Do you know who they were? Your lordship, those guys were uh, envious. They are gang. They are the worst. I'm telling you, they are scared of no one. Not even lead to Kara. Glances around like he's expecting more bandits to appear. So, does this kind of thing happen often around here? Shooting? Yes. Attack with nobles? Not very often. No. And let's it's the envers. They're vicious. Not even a week goes by without them killing, gutting somebody. They're wicked heretics. They respect nothing. Follow no rules. Alright. Deep breath and go and report this to the leech. Yes. I'm sorry, your lordship. I just go to report to the leech. They killed her. They killed my lady. Oh, so horrible. Hmm. Oh well. Hey, I think we can just look around and Always explore a little keep bit. Your eye on the prize. Let's see what's hiding here. Seems like a huge station. One one one. Hangar A one. I always keep my options open. That seems like a nice little space bar. Just lots of unnamed random people. Finest wines from Dennis. Welcome to Footfall. You can rest here, away from the irksome rebel. Uh, some more for yeah, I mean aristocrats, more for the people of standing. Hmm. One dead. Strange Nemo. First, the holy book by the altar. Second, the void damn customs guy. He's always on duty. Does he get any time off? Does he ever leave for a piss? Is he savage or something? Third, guess what? Prophet? <laughs> Fourth, hanger by the window. Remember to bow to the Emperor through the window. Hmm. Quest. Okay, if we see a holy book by the altar, let's try to keep that book in mind. As it should be. First glance, these look like standard containers, but their frames have been reinforced, and the ceiling improved to give the smell in. These are used to transport contraband. I have a nose for profit and a taste for adventure. So let's level up by Dira. Let's go for joint analysis so we can share the exploits. She's already psycho level one. But still take it. Would I take it? I mean, I need to do that to get rating two sometime. Oh, come on. Um, let's go for exposed weakness. Cost zero AP. Cause I think we're running out of AP currently. Some willpower for 
more warp shenanigans. Here we go. Thief. Let's see what ability she would be sharing. Ability's finest. Willpower. Let's go. Um, right. Ah, now we also have <clears throat> to decide on the second one. for Bounty Hunter, I think that merges better with um, Psyker abilities, but we will see. Right. Is there money to be made? Let's steal some things. Hmm. Father? I, I did Containers, it. labels, destination, Giannis. It's covered in dust. Must have spent a long time at the docks. Oh, there's a citizen talking to a servitor, calling him father. Poor. Poor guy, both of them. The walls of the container have rusted, its content rotted away. A situation that is not uncommon for shipments trying to pass through Imperial customs. No. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Leaflet. Now is our time, not theirs. Go to their homes, drag them out of their beds. Carve open their bodies like carcasses at a slaughterhouse. The Imperial Navy, Casa Bellica, Corla von Valencius, their names will mean nothing. Tomorrow we erase them from memory. Go and seize power, as much of it as you can. A and B. Wonder that is. Keep your wits about you. Is that the holy book? Life of St. Rusus, Volume 3. The Emperor favors me today. Small altar. Central spot has been given to Rusus, a saint. Oh. Saint from the neighboring Calexus sector. Is widely revered in the Cronus Expanse. Hey Nicole, nice to see you. How are you? Could this be the holy book? That void damn customs guy. We also don't know what guess what means. Hmm. I wonder what this is used for. The rest of food. I always have a backup plan. Bring five functionary Alanga Questoris. Maybe that's the guy? Hmm, did you say something? Well. Hmm. Do you know Warhammer, Nicole? Is that something you're familiar with? Always keep your eye on the prize. Nothing escapes my house would be proud of me. Containers marked foodstuff, but it's empty and, by the looks of it, it's not been moved in a while. Ooh, Grenadier's cloak. Sad thing we just don't use those. Let us not dawdle. Another functionary? Do you say something? Huh? What? Don't distract me. Apparently there's not too much here. Oh, you're painting Warhammer 40k miniatures. That's so nice. What kind of those? Internal report. I'm writing to inform you that two days ago, the discharge was interrupted by a raid launched by the Enver's gang. In the attack, freeloader servitors were put out of commission. Furthermore, one cargo container, serial number FVDA1-16165, was stolen along with its contents. Something to say, Wreckman? Take this rubbish back to where you found it. I won't accept it. I Did always keep my options open. Excuse me. Abelard? 
punish this guy for talking to, like that to me. Hmm. Okay, here we have some panels. One, three, four, five. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. I wouldn't know what codes to input. Let's press one three times because we saw that. Now you have to press them in an order. Nope. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. You have a code with you? Nope. Hmm. So many dead people around here. Ah, just the lovely atmosphere of 40k. <laughs> hmm. Okay, no, the birds. The local Adeptus Mechanicus uses it to get around. The boats are easy to tell apart from all the pirates, smugglers, and other scum. Well, I gotta say, this shuttle looks very similar to all the other shuttles. Let's talk to Opticon 22. He seems important. And he is. Tall, hunched tech priest stares at you unblinkingly. The breathing mask conceals his gaunt features. The skin of his hands is of a sickly grey hue, which augments shows of combat damage are plated in black chromium, giving him a general air of lugubriousness. Uh, quick question for the chat. What does that mean? And I probably pronounced that wrong. <laughs> Initiating identification procedure. This unit is defined as Logis Opticon 22 and is a fully authorized representative, structural part of the Koenisans fleet and the priestess of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Access has been granted to the following options. Information exchange, strengthening of diplomatic links, trade deals, donations. Initiating official greeting procedure for esteemed high value visitors. Glory, success, Charles on Valencius. An area begins to flow from the scratch box attached to the tech priest's chest. Requesting information exchange regarding contractual obligation lodges of theta. Inter the interesting part is, so far, Pascal seems to be the one who talks the most. let's call it normal. From all the tech priests we encountered. Pascal and Opticon 22 exchange glances and a short series of binary signals before bowing their heads in satisfaction. Opticon 22's head bows noticeably lower than Pascal's. Oh, you're painting Warhammer for Decay figurines as a bride and a groom figure? It's so cool, you gotta show that to me, Nicole. So, what is Logistia's Theta? Under the contractual obligation in question, 34.761 Terran cycles ago, the Explorator Connaissance fleet received from representatives, authorized units of the Van Valencia's dynasty a volume of high grade Promethium equal to the fuel capacity of six Tentalian void tankers. Received it and then didn't pay. Compensate. Remunerate. Settle accounts. Should I go on? Or is that enough synonyms? A stipulated payment, repertoire offering from the Connaissance fleet can be made to the Von Valencia's assets at the current time, after which the contractual obligation will be fulfilled, archived. Confirm your status regarding acceptance of the payment, reciprocal offering. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that outs us as the rope trader, but I don't think so. I think just as an envoy, which we claim to be, we can also do that. You waited 30 years to pay up? Execution of payment, reciprocal offering, is in accordance with the specifications of the contractual obligation. Allocation of assets from the holdings of the Connaissance fleet was initiated when the tankers reached the main squadron, 14,905 Terran cycles after the initial transaction. Hmm, how nice! We're just going to get rewards from a contract we had nothing to do with. 
The asset dislocation process concluded 2,663 Terran cycles later. The transportation of assets in the Furubunda system took 16,862 cycles. The final delivery of assets to Footfall took 0 0.331 Terran cycles. Clever. If you had been purchasing fuel for a squadron at the other end of the Imperium, you may never have to pay back at all. Who would have turned to dust before you made it there and back? Okay, we can either get a mobile extractium, which is quite nice, because I think you need those to um, get some resources from planets. Let's say we don't need that and get uh, some prestige renown, I think it is. Ah, uh, let's go for the payment. I confirm. I'm willing to accept the payment. The request is accepted. The sacred machines will be loaded into the hold of your vessel. Contractual obligation logistia theta is concluded. The Connaissance fleet thanks House von Valencius for its cooperation. Alright, so what do I need to do if I seek the friendship of the Adeptus Mechanicus? The priesthood of Adeptus Mechanicus is interested in, considers expeditious cooperation with rogue traders. Under the terms of the Treaty of Mars, it will it is willing to provide services to the von Valencius dynasty. The priority of service tasks can be raided, raised if diplomatic links are strengthened. The Connaissance fleet will be glad. Alternative unavailable. To accept. <laughs> uh, I love that he's always, or not always, but quite often providing two options. <laughs> glad. Alternative unavailable. Thankful. To accept any samples of sacred technology, samples of profane xenotech, miscellaneous items. Reminder, storage, study and or disposal of the aforementioned objects within the exception of three Michelin's items with the preferential right of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Mm, so probably we can just give that to them. The Explorator fleet will also accept information about planets in the Coronis Expanse that have not previously been recorded in the Planetary Register. So, why are you interested in the Xenotech? Isn't that heresy? The Connaissance fleets find it reasonable to believe, believes, that forbidden knowledge is in the hand of the laity for destruction and violations that go against the Omnicizer will. Weakness of mind and will unleash the Xeno heresy, which consumes the laity whole. An example that demonstrates the outline pattern, a void station in the system of Langren's belt. According to the data available to the Connaissance fleet, the heretics on the station have trade relations with Xenos for the sake of obtaining dangerous and pernicious technology. The destruction of these heretics is of high priority, but not high enough to demand immediate action. Hmm. Alright, I want to make a trade deal. Let's take everything we can. Dum. Ooh, more mobile extractions. A profit factor 35. Holy moly. And we have to reach rank 5 to even get anything. Oh, and we can get up quite a bit. Hmm. We would trade all. 8,000. Just hand over everything. Ah, we will find you, loot. Hmm. Bad thing is, we have now enough reputation, but not enough profit factor. Oh well. I always have a backup plan. Let's advance. Rest of footfall. Um, ah, we could still do things in the atrium. Tether spirit and a stray. Uh, wrong. Ah, no, I think both locations are new, actually. <laughs> yeah. Because we're currently here at the Void Dog at Alpha Row. Um, let's go where we have quests. Seems quite the obvious choice.
Oh. 100%, but not enough. <laughs> 